Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Birmingham City University, and a warm welcome also to our viewers on YouTube. I hope that we'll talk about how the nature of crime is changing, effects like globalisation, movement of people around the world, the growth of social media. What about the issues of poverty and vulnerability? Are they changing? Are they enduring, hard to shift, constants in uh, how crime is committed around the world? There are lots of headlines about Facebook murderer, Facebook killer, and I thought, is, has this actually got any basis in reality? Facebook murder is very much like homicide that we see every day. It's not actually all that unusual. And as social media is becoming part and parcel of our daily lives, it's becoming part and parcel of homicide as well. And there are a few things we need to understand about that, I think. Hamilton must have decided that the shootings would allow him to regain his self-esteem in a butch and brutal way over those who he saw as damaging his reputation. One of the things that really strikes me that Birmingham City University has always been very good about is trying to create a bridge between the academy and the wider public. And that's why I think it's great that they want to take what could be a pretty dry and slightly depressing subject, but make it accessible to the wider community. I walk through the prison gates in our inarticulate, ill-educated brute. I'd lived rough for most of my life on and off from a childhood, you know. I'd, I'd been someone who, who didn't really have a function in society. I didn't have a place in society. I went to prison for life in 1984. I was convicted of murder. The, the prisoner who's, you know, now going straight and just getting on with life, he never really gets his voice heard. I think this is something very valuable that I can do, is to be on a panel like this and engage with such an audience. In, in, a, in an intelligent, mature, grown-up way. The talk was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that they had an ex-prisoner as well, because that, I think that, that gives a criminology student like myself a really good insight. I found the talk, especially uh, by uh, Dr. Liz Yardley, uh, very fascinating into the role of how technology is changing the face of murder. You know, we're still basically the same human beings. There's good in bad in all of us. Thank you.